coverage of the services for the 41st president of the United States continue this noon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. And I'm Rahel Solomon. The casket of the former president is now on its way to Washington. It will lie in state at the U.S. Capitol building. CBS News correspondent Nicole Killian is on Capitol Hill now with the latest. The casket of former President George H.W. Bush left a Houston funeral home Monday as family members looked on. The presidential motorcade then went to the airport en route to Washington, D.C. He saw the world, not just the country. On CBS This Morning, former Secretary of State Colin Powell, who served as President Bush's chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff during the first Gulf War, remembered his former boss. He would not make some jump decision out of nowhere. He would think it through and then decide what was best for the country, but not only what was best for the country, what was best for the world. In an interview with 60 Minutes, former President George W. Bush says his father's legacy will grow with time. I think he's going to go down as the greatest one-term president ever because of uh, his foreign policy, definitely handling the end of the Cold War, for example, reunification of Germany. Former President Bill Clinton, who beat Mr. Bush in the 1992 presidential election, recalled their bipartisan bond. It's been one of the great joys of my life, my friendship with him. Our arguments were good-natured and open, and uh, we continue to debate things all the way up until recently. President Bush will lie in state in the Capitol Rotunda until Wednesday. Then a motorcade will transport his casket through Washington to the National Cathedral for a state funeral. Afterwards, his body will be flown back to Texas for a public viewing and private funeral before being buried Thursday. And Nicole Killian for CBS 3 Eyewitness News. And we will have continuing coverage of the special events held in honor of the late president throughout the day. You can see them right here on CBS3. You can always get the latest online at cbsphilly.com.